Good afternoon and thanks for joining us right here on Midday Kentucky. And I've got to say it, everyone, I'm loving this yeah, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are loving that you're back here on the table. Thank you. Thank you. It was, it was a nice break and well-deserved and well-needed. Oh, well, How we are got, we all? We missed you. Well, I did come out to the show on Friday. <laughs> yes, yeah. you did. Which out at the rodeo. Mm -hmm. And it was a fun. great show. Mm -hmm. And I thought you all did a fantastic job. But I do want to say one little thing you can see in that shot behind us it was actually our one year anniversary on Aww. friday yes, it was. and i just wanted to pay homage to all the people that have helped us put this show together and i want to say our very first um, producer was cameron who's no longer here and my two co-hosts was miss katie and also our scientist Eric, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> used to be, and you know we used to make so much fun of him. Yeah, we all miss our, Eric. All we our do. amazing floor <laughs> crew, all our, our producers, you know, it wouldn't be the same now yeah. without um, Dusty, who mm, is called yeah. away today, and also Sam, who's in the booth, and of course our directors as well, Bobby, and Sound, Miss, my Mr. Sound Man, he knows who <laughs> I'm talking about. So thank you to everyone yes, who made everyone. that um, one year possible for yeah. us. And Lisa, you joined us mid-year? Uh, um, about March, March? April -ish. Has it been that long? Yeah. Yeah. No wonder I need to colour my hair every week. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, been it's that not long. a lot of fun. <laughs> and I never thought when I first came here that we would, you know, I came here in the September. You came October, I think. No, but first week of November. Uh, first, yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. I, it was like two weeks before the show started. Yeah. So you were like thrown in there. Yeah, just dive okay. right in. <laughs> so thank you to all our viewers as well. We appreciate you. And also all the, the comments that you send to us. And then when you see us out in the streets, it's really nice yeah, we to hear us. that you either love us or you can't stand Troy. <laughs> it's either way. Tell us that too. <laughs> Tell us that too. <laughs> hey, um, very quickly, um, how was your weekend? You went to an event that you decorated our Christmas tree. Yes. That, yeah. But tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, we were um, decorating trees. I have a picture to show you guys. We're at the Trees of Life Gala. This is for Oh, look khaki. at you and your silver the, outfit. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> Um, Kentucky Kidney Health Alliance organization, and this was so much fun. It was there. You can see Amber Freeman, VJ, Kelsey, VJ, our weekend anchor, Kelsey, one of our reporters. We had a wonderful time. It's a great organization. So we here at the station decorated a bunch of trees to go for the auction there, and um, it was just a wonderful night. I have to say that um, I turned my tree in first, and I was so proud of it. I thought it was just this amazing tree, <laughs> and then Lisa brought in her tree, and it was so, like amazing <laughs> and then amber brought in her tree and it was all horse theme i think amber's of all of ours won the most no on the ours bets. was the best from midday because i said to lisa you better make sure it's good <laughs> 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 well people really loved those trees and then i made man friend bet on my tree uh, so the man song friend was bad. awesome <laughs> good job katie good. Well, did, well did he win it and well, take it home yes he, well he was the only one <laughs> <laughs> But that's okay. No, because there were okay. so many wonderful trees. And so I think with it, hopefully we helped raise a lot of yeah, money. The midday so. tree, people were bidding on that. Oh, yeah, and Amber's tree got a lot of bids, too. It also had all <laughs> <laughs> typical TT. Make sure you put our picture on it. Yeah. So you came and you did put some. Did you I take did. pictures of it? You didn't, did um, you? Yeah, I did. Oh, you I did? did? Oh, well, yeah. we should have got that up. I uh, know. We can post it on our Facebook page. Um, yeah, I'll post it on Facebook. Good job. <laughs> uh, also on the weekend, 106.3, Mandy and Jimmy uh -huh. were doing this event where they camped out at Acura courtesy Acura over okay. on Nicholasville Road, up in this big, tall, like, three-story, whatever, uh, like, ladder thing, and they camped yeah. out for a couple of days to raise awareness for kids who don't have bikes for Christmas, and oh. it was Bikes for Lexington Kids, oh, and I awesome. wanted to show you, so I decided to Aww. go over oh. and buy a couple of bikes, Good. and went out there on Sunday, but the thing is, I've never had to, you know me, I don't buy kids presents as <laughs> right, such. Right. So I go into Target and I couldn't find the bikes mm -hmm. and because they're in boxes. So then I said to the, to the lady, I said, oh darling, I need to have bikes that aren't in boxes because I don't want to have to put them together, which were right above me, <laughs> okay? Okay. Then it took me 45 minutes to put the darn bikes in the car because I didn't think I should have bought the bikes in the box. <laughs> <laughs> because I wouldn't have fitted them in the back of, I would have been able to fit them in the car. Right. You wouldn't have been able to 45 minutes, everyone. It took me to put those two bikes in the back of my uh. car. I broke the sun visor thingy that goes over the back of your car. You oh, know. no. I then had a trolley behind me, which someone started screaming at me, and I didn't know what they were screaming at, because the trolley 
which I bought a few other things, started to scroll down the road and ran into someone's car. Oh and the gosh. man gets out and starts screaming at me. I've got a sore thumb from the... <laughs> what I do for you kids. Oh, <laughs> right. Well, we appreciate that you're out doing that. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so first of all, guys, um, the AMAs were last night. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. 27 years. I want to take a look at Pink's performance. Let's just take a quick look and talk about it after it. So here she was performing at the side of a building, everyone. She was absolute. You wouldn't yeah, have seen Pink this. Pink is day. amazing. She's she great. Really I is. watched oh, it this I morning. Love, love, love her. She was so good, but I was very disappointed it was towards the end of the show. Because I was, that's why I got bags under my eyes, everyone. I looked like a fright. And here she is literally, I think it might have been 45 stories high. I can't, look at this. She is on the side of the building. Can you, but that's not and trick this. photography. This is live. I'm absolutely amazing. And then, I just have to tell you, everyone, Miss Ross herself was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award. And look at her. <laughs> oh, look at her. Look at her oh. go. Oh, she's so I fabulous. And look her. how beautiful she looks. She came to Australia and I saw and I saw all three shows. Oh, you did? I, and I'll tell you why. And, you know, I paid an absolute mozza for it. I sold my left kidney because I didn't think I'd ever get to see her again. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like Barbara Streisand. I was in the second row. Right. In pouring rain, <laughs> seeing Barbara Streisand. I also sold the other kidney to go and see her. Oh, um, but amazing. I'm glad that you got to see her in Australia. You're a big fan. Oh, yeah. I love <laughs> I'm her. glad you got to see her last night, too. And, yeah. and, you know, I have to say to you, I thought the AMAs were a little boring. Okay. Let's be real. Okay. Okay. I didn't catch it last night. Okay. I, I couldn't. Well, you didn't miss a great deal. Yeah. Okay. I recorded it, so I was going to go back and watch it. Look at it. her. Go, sister. Oh. I love that woman. Because, um, you know what? There's something about these showgirls from the days gone by, they know how to perform, you can uh -huh. hear the words, Yes. they're never controversial anymore, mm -hmm. they're yeah. stars and they know how to entertain you for your 1200 bucks that you spent on the front row, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean, like, three times people, because oh, I just oh loved God. her, <laughs> anyway, I wanted to tell you all about that, now let's move on to, okay, okay on the weekend, President Donald Trump on Sunday shot back at LeVar Ball, the father of one of the UCLA basketball players arrested in China, for belittling the President's role in the student's Release. Now, this is the first tweet that Trump sent out. Now that the three basketball players are out of China and saved from years in jail, LeVar Ball, the father of Lian Jaliel, is that it? Is unaccepting of what I did for his son and that shoplifting is no big deal. I should have left them in jail. Now, he did that on Sunday. Then he went on and did another one. Shoplifting is a very big deal in China, as it should be, but not to... F but sorry, five to ten years in jail, but not to father LeVar, should have gotten his son out during my next trip to China instead. China told them why they were released and they were very ungrateful. Now, <laughs> why did that happen on the weekend? Is because LeVar Ball told ESPN, who, after the president's name was mentioned over Trump's handling of the matter with Chinese president, he basically said, what what was he over there for? Don't tell me nothing. Everybody wants to make it seem like he, as in Trump, helped me out. The father helped me out. Here's the thing. Look, all kids do something silly, okay? I understand that. Should these, I take it back to this. These are three tall African-American men mm -hmm. that arrive in China. They go to Louis Vuitton. Everyone is watching them. Mm -hmm. It's the case. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It is the way it is. Mm -hmm. When I go to the Philippines with blonde hair, everyone's looking at me. Right. I mean, they're in China. <laughs> they are in China. They were silly enough to steal sunglasses. I get it. I get that Trump also, they cause an international scene. Trump did the right thing by stepping forward and getting them out. Do you think the father has the right to say it's no big deal? 
Well, I think he has the right to say it, but I disagree with that. I think, well, I disagree with all of that happening on Twitter, mm. but um, saying it in general, I mean, he was he was there for a trip, and I have no doubt that he got them out. That's a very serious oh, yeah. offense, yes. especially yes. in China. Anyone else would still be in jail. Right. So I think even if you're not grateful to him, um, just don't speak out saying you shut you're not. Him out. Just don't speak out saying you're ungrateful. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But then I don't like that he's tweeting about it either. I don't like the tweeting. Yeah. But on principle, I think they should be grateful. You don't have to outwardly express it, but I think just don't say anything. Just let it go. You got out. You're back in the U.S. And they have been let suspended from UCLA. Mm -hmm. um, do I think that should have been the case? Maybe for a month, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it didn't really need, uh, they say indefinitely, uh, we still need to find out what right. that indefinitely means. Right. You know, because well, it's three young guys. Right. But you can't get well, special treatment just because you're a basketball player. No, like, I'm not Those saying are really expensive should. glasses and you yeah. stole them. You right. should be suspended. Oh, I agree right. with you. If it's proven they stole, I don't know if there's video or anything. Oh, yes, it's, yeah. I know they stole them, but yeah. I think I well, I, think I don't think there's a lot of gray area. <laughs> no, you, they you stole, stole the glasses. Okay. Well, and there's a whole history of LeVar and, uh, is it D'Angelo? Um, what's his the son's son. name? Yep. But he, um, there's a whole history there of him being so outspoken. And, you know, he, he doesn't have a very good reputation. Well, um, they, they call the, the father the big mouth of basketball. Right. So, so I think with that being said, you know, it, should he have been grateful? He sh definitely should have been. It doesn't matter who yeah. it comes from. You know, whoever helps your child out of a, a, a very horrible predicament, yeah. potentially. Um, he helped his child out of that predicament and didn't get a thank And who you, knows, five a, to ten know. years in jail, people, yeah. Yeah. that these three young men could have got. Yeah. But here's the thing. To those three young men, you were representing the United States of America mm -hmm. and your culture and your background, and you should have put your best foot forward. And do I think that you should have been suspended? Yes. Do I think it should ruin your life? No. There are right. three pairs of sunglasses right. or two pairs, whatever it is. Exactly. Yeah, you I know? think Trump did the right thing, yeah. helping them to get out. Yes, I don't think did. they yeah. deserve to stay in China yeah. for 10 years. Right. No. You should be grateful that you're back here yeah. and right. it wasn't worth. And you should be humble. Exactly. After the break, everyone, find out how you can donate to a charity that helps bring coats to needy kids. And lady, later, blah, 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 lady <laughs> we will hear a success story from a patient of Dr. Eric Smith from Georgetown Bariatrics, an advanced surgical service.